Hi guys, I am here today with your Bible reading. Can you believe we are in the book of Revelation? I guess we are at the end of this year. We are in December, almost halfway through December. Well, getting close to it. It's December 12th already. We're getting there through December. We'll be starting over the, um, the new Bible readings um, in January. So I hope we can all get together and get through the Bible again in another whole year. All right. Revelation chapter 3 verse 7 through verse 22 today is where we will begin. The letter to Philadelphia. This is what you must write to the angel of the church in Philadelphia. I am the one who is holy and true, and I have the keys that belong to David. When I open a door, no one can close it, and when I close a door, no one can open it. Listen to what I say. I know everything you have done, and I have placed before you an open door that no one can close. You were very strong, but you obeyed my message and did not deny that you are my followers. Now you will see what I will do with those people who belong to Satan's group. They claim to be Jews, but they are liars. I will make them come and kneel down at your feet. Then they will know that I love you. You obeyed my message and endured. So I will protect you from the time of testing that everyone in all the world must go through. I am coming soon, so hold firmly to what you have, and no one will take away the crown that you will be given as your reward. Everyone who wins the victory will be made into a pillar in the temple of my God, and they will stay there forever. I will write on each of them the name of my God and the name of his city. It is the new Jerusalem that my God will send down from heaven. I will also write on them my own new name. If you have ears, listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. Now the letter to the Dicea. This is what you must write to the angel of the church in the Dicea. I am the one called Amen. I am the faithful and the true witness and the source of God's creation. Listen to what I say. I know everything you have done, and you are not cold or hot. I wish you were either one or the other. But since you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spit you out of my mouth. You claim to be rich and successful and to have everything you need. But you don't know how bad off you are. You are a pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. Buy your gold from me. It has been refined in a fire, don't care, and it will make you rich. Buy white clothes from me. Wear them as you cover up your shameful nakedness. Buy medicine in your eyes so that you will be able to see. I correct and punish everyone I love, so make your minds to turn make up your minds to turn away from your sins. Listen, I am standing and knocking at your door. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will eat together. Everyone who wins the victory will sit with me on my throne just as I won the victory and sat with my father on his throne. If you have ears, listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. And that's where we'll stop today with Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 through verse 22. Now we'll read a psalm for today, which is psalm, a really, really short psalm, which is Psalm 131, a song by David for worship. Trust the Lord. I am not conceited, Lord, and I don't waste my time on impossible schemes. 
but I have learned to feel safe and satisfied, just like a young child on its mother's lap. People of Israel, you must trust the Lord now and forever. And that was Psalm 131, a song by David for worship, Trust the Lord. And lastly, for our Bible reading today, we're going to read Proverbs chapter 29, verse 23. Too much pride brings disgrace. Humility leads to honor. Too much pride brings disgrace. Humility leads to honor. And that was Proverbs chapter 29, verse 23. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys all again tomorrow with another Bible reading. It sure is, looks like a beautiful day out there today. I hope it's warm enough outside and you guys get to go out and enjoy your day. I love you guys. God bless you all. Bye, guys.